Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Anna and today I have another seller's haul for you guys. So I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video. I don't think I did, but I just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. Thank God we are finally in 2021 and honestly, I could not be happier. I know there's a lot of crazy going on, especially in America right now and COVID and everything, but I honestly am hopeful that this year will be a great year for all of us i think things will finally be back on track we finally do have a vaccine so i really do think that things will somewhat go back to normal even though i know it won't fully go back to normal because i think covid kind of woke everyone up and just especially like i'm in new york city just how close we all used to be on the subways and trains and you know things like that at concerts stuff like that i think a lot of that is going to change going forward but i do think things will somewhat go back to some type of normal soon and hopefully within this new year i'm hopeful i hope you guys are also i know it's been kind of dark for a lot of people i know i struggled with my mental health a lot especially these last couple months with everything going on but i definitely am hopeful that things will change especially for the better and you know it's a new year start fresh start clean hope for the best and yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that because i know it's been kind of hard for everyone and just everything going on and i just hope 2021 brings us all just better fortune good luck if you guys did lose your jobs or whatever the case may be i really hope that you guys find new jobs and things like that i'm just honestly really hopeful and optimistic for the future and yeah i just hope 2021 is better for all of us because god knows we need it so sorry about that just wanted to get that off my chest a little so as you guys can see i have a new seller's haul for you guys and i am so excited so i was mindful again we just did come from the holidays and christmas so i know a lot of people spent money on gifts and things like that so i didn't want my first seller's haul and my first couple of uploads to be anything too expensive so i did bring out and you guys I, <laughs> the funny thing is i got all of this stuff I want to say at least three months ago, but I just haven't posted it because obviously last year I did just want to finish off the year with a lot of sales, not new inventory, but you guys, this has been sitting around in my home for about three months now because I haven't posted it yet. And I thought this is perfect. It's the first week back. It's in the new year. It's going to be more affordable pieces. So let's get started. So if you guys can tell, especially back here, these first couple sections, we have a lot of of calcite and onyx now my first go around you guys really really love this so i ended up getting some more items from you some new items as well so new carvings new shapes for you i know the calcites and onyx did really well the first time around so i decided hey let's do it again and what's really great is also onyx and calcite are more on the affordable side so again i did want to start on the more affordable side all right guys so let me show you i will start with the bowls that i have and just kind of make my way so the first thing i want to show you is that i did get a lot of different options so i got some different shape bowls just because i absolutely love bowls and dishes i think they are absolutely amazing you can add them anywhere i actually just added one of the onyx bowls right by my front door i actually have a set of black tourmaline and a few little tumbles that i keep right by my front door as kind of like a protective stone to keep right before that people walk into the house so i did keep one of them and put some tumbles on here and they're really just great for like jewelry even decor items right again that's why i really like to get things that can just have multiple purposes right it's great to have spheres and towers if you're a collector but to have carvings kind of like animal carvings dishes things like that little knickknacks are really cute because you can also use them as decor items right they don't necessarily just have to be part of a collection or you know spheres or towers you tend to keep on a shelf it can really be displayed all around your home and then i also got these beautiful leaf bowls which i am obsessed with so i have some pink calcite ones i have some beautiful onyx ones and especially these onyx ones really remind me of like the fall and winter you know when the leaves start changing colors i just thought these were so freaking cute i already did post some they did sell but i do still have a few more left so don't worry you guys know that I do tend to wait till Saturdays when the videos are posted to also post to my Etsy as well so you guys can have first dibs and then a bigger onyx leaf bowl as well how gorgeous I also ended up keeping one of these leaf bowls 
because I just, I can't. The aesthetic, oh, I love, I live for it. I live for it. <laughs> so I just could not get enough. You know me, I'm so bad. I hoard so many crystals. It's a problem. Like once I do my updated crystal collection for you, like the tour, you guys are gonna, oh my God. Now that I have like my own space and I've decorated everything, I kid you not, I have crystals in every single room of the house. So I will definitely be filming a bit of kind of like a home tour and show you guys where the crystals are because I have a ton in every room now and it's kind of a problem because now I have an excuse to buy even more crystals for myself, which is problematic. <laughs> And then the next bowl I wanted to show you, I did also was able to snag up just one of these bowls. He didn't have too many, but I did get a little pineapple bowl as well. Again, they're just something fun, something different, right? Because you don't always just want to get towers or spheres. Then again, I shouldn't say that because when I was a beginner, I did only buy towers. It actually took me a while to branch out to other things like spheres and carvings. That actually took me a while. But now that obviously I'm a seller and I have a ton of them, it's like, oh my God, I have like carvings, bowls, everything galore everywhere. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is I also got some smaller, beautiful chocolate calcite bowls. Now you guys. So if you remember my first go around, I had these smaller onyx bowls. But you guys, look at these chocolate calcite bowls. Tell me this does not remind you of like soft serve chocolate ice cream. Oh my, like it almost looks delicious enough to eat, but that's just always me because I'm always hungry and always want food. <laughs> I am such a foodie, but I just thought these were, oh, how cute are these? Now I have a ton of these because I thought these were so cute. And again, they are calcite, so calcite and onyx are on more of the affordable side. I also did end up getting some more nephrite jade towers in. I know these went super fast the last time I had them, so I definitely stocked up on more. I know you guys really like your jade towers. I also have some jade spheres coming in. Don't worry, so, oh, you guys. I have so much in stock right now and I already have more ordered. Like if you think it's bad when you're just a collector, no, 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 no. It's even worse when you're a seller because you buy in bulk, you guys, I, ugh, ugh, I buy so many crystals, it's ridiculous. Like I will show you guys my office, I have so many crystals in stock and I just keep buying and buying and buying and I, I need to calm down because it's a bit ridiculous. And the next towers I got in, I did not have these the first go around, but a few people did request these. So I got some blue aragonite towers in as well. Again, I didn't have them the first go around and a lot of people had reached out and said that they wanted to see some in my shop. So I did get some in. I do read all of your comments. So if you ever do comment something and you don't see it, either ask me or just know it's probably on its way or already ordered. It just takes a while. And again, as I mentioned, I ended up getting a lot of this stock at least three months ago. So I already ordered it way back when, but I'm just uploading it now. So don't worry, whatever you guys do, try to request I really try my best to get my hands on for you and then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is that I did also get I think one or two of these the first go around and a lot a lot of people really wanted these mortar and pestle sets and they're really great because you could just crush up like spices in here so they're really great if you want to make some teas if you want to make some mixes some herbal mixes these are really great so I think I only had two the first go around so I ended up getting a lot more so I got a few small ones some medium ones and then let me show you guys I even got some really big larger ones so I got all different sizes just again at different price points for whoever's purpose if people want some smaller ones I also got some bigger ones I think these are really really great now I will tell you the first round of these I ended up keeping one for myself and you know what the funny thing is it's just displayed within my crystal collection like I don't actually use it even though you can use it <laughs> I don't even know why, but for some reason, it just looks so nice that you, I don't know, you feel like bad or don't want to use it, but I really should use the one that I got because really it's just sitting there kind of wasting away and it can be used to like crush spices and everything. But anyways, hopefully one day I will get to those. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys are some moon carvings. So I did get some moon carvings, different sizes. So I have more larger moons, more smaller moons. So this is beautiful. Blue calcite also known as Caribbean calcite now how gorgeous are these 
I remember a few months back when like calcites were really like hitting the market and everyone was trying to find them everyone had them in their shop like they really like calcites in general just kind of exploded a few months back so I remember I was on that wave because I bought up a ton of towers a ton of spheres myself but it's just such a beautiful stone and I absolutely love that I was able to get just different um, varieties of dishes and like carvings for you guys because my first go around the towers and spheres were great but it's really nice to just get some more crafty things in like I really love seeing that and then I also ended up getting some calcite moon bowls in so I have some moons and I have some moon bowls so I have some pink calcite some Caribbean calcite some honey calcite again I just really love the different things that can be done with like crystals and stones like how you can really make them into anything you can really imagine you just need to know craftsmen that can do it so I love that because you can get really really creative when it comes to crystals right you don't always see them in the same forms you can find them in a lot of different forms in a lot of varieties so i really really love that crystals have really there's such a big market for them and people are creating like new carvings and things i think that's always really really cool to see and then i also ended up getting some sphere stands as well i did have some really basic sphere stands the first go around but then i saw these cute little calcite star sphere stands so they do have a little dent if you guys can see so you can place a sphere on it i thought these were so cute i did get sphere stands the last time but they were pretty plain they were just like these circular sphere stands i thought these were more cute just something a bit more different something more unique and then as i mentioned i did get some smaller moons and you guys look at these beauties oh i remember when i had the chocolate calcite moons the first go around they sold so quick you guys really love them i really love them i mean look how gorgeous that color is it is absolutely beautiful. So I did get some more of those in. And then of course, I did get some unicorns in. You guys really like the unicorns as well. And I got a different variety. Let me show you. So here we go, I'm trying to not drop it. So I did get some more of the beautiful Caribbean calcite unicorns, but I also got these beautiful banded pink calcites. Now let me show you, cause these are really gorgeous. So I really want you to see these. How beautiful are these? Oh, you guys, they are so stunning. And you know, I tell you guys all the time, pink usually washes out, but look how gorgeous. It's like a mauve pink. It's such a beautiful pink color. I just, oh, I absolutely love it. And I love these unicorns. I think they're so freaking cute. So I just, I have to get some more in because I really, really like them. And then let's see, what else do I have for you guys? Oh yes, so then I also did get some more agate hearts in. I had these in my shop. I want to say maybe three, four months ago, something like that. So I had really big agate sliced hearts in my shop. So I was able to find the supplier that I bought the first go around actually ended up buying and getting some more of these smaller ones, which I thought were so cute because the bigger ones are priced at a bigger price point. So he did get some smaller ones in, which I thought were so cute. And you know me, I love the banding. A lot of them have these beautiful quartz inclusions. Look at this bad boy. This one has a beautiful agate and amethyst inclusion. It's just, oh, you know me, I am a sucker for sparkle, banding, and these hearts have it all. So I do have some bigger ones that I'll post. I did get some smaller ones, which will be on the more affordable side. Just again, because I like to get different options, different price points for you guys, because I know not everyone can afford the really big expensive crystals. So I did get these smaller hearts, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I already did post a few and they sold super fast because a lot of you guys like them. And again, they are smaller, so they are at a more affordable price point. And then the next thing I wanna show you guys is I did have a few people hit me up regarding crystal angels. Now, I never offered angels in my shop before, I'm not sure why, I would say that personally myself, I was never drawn to angel carvings. I know they're not rare, they're not something that you don't see a lot, you actually see them in a lot of shops, but I know I just never was drawn to them, but you guys, <laughs> 
I am like, oh my God, I'm like a fiddle here. I always say the same thing, but I kid you not, there are stones and certain things that I was never attracted to when I was a collector. But then when I became a seller and actually got them into my shop and physically saw them and was able to hold them, obsessed obsessed so here we go i have a new obsession i'm about to have a new collection um but i did get some angels in because again i just i wasn't a fan of them you know i just i don't know they didn't speak to me when i saw them when i was a collector in other live shows but now that i oh, forget it now i absolutely love them and i thank people who asked me to get them in because a lot of you asked me to get them in and i was like uh, i don't know i'm not a big fan i don't know if i want these you guys obsessed I love them. So let me just show you guys. I do have different varieties. I got a lot of different ones just again. So you guys have some beautiful different options. So here are the first ones. I believe they are about two inches, maybe a little bit over. Not every, you know, not every angel is going to be exact, just like not every sphere is going to be the exact same size, but how gorgeous. So we got some clear quartz, some amethyst, some adventuring. Oh, just absolutely stunning. And it's so funny because I never thought or saw myself as being someone that would be into this. But, you know, you just sometimes you never know. You just never know what is going to call to you and what is going to be your thing until you finally get it. And so here we have some more. Let me know because I can get these in more varieties. So if there is a stone that you would like to see, let me know because I can get them in different varieties. So I have some rose quartz, some unikite, and some tiger's eye. And what I really love about this tiger's eye is it's a mix of both yellow and blue tiger's eye. Oh, just so stunning so let me know because i can definitely get some other stones if you guys are interested in other varieties as well and then i do have only one of these because actually i did buy some bigger moss agate for someone who personally asked me for some but if you guys want some bigger moss agate angels please let me know because i can definitely get some more in but I do just have one of these available for now, but again, can definitely get some more in. Just let me know. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys are some new towers that I got in. So with the Moss Agate Angels, I also got some more Moss Agate towers in, but you guys, oh, I have to show you these Moss Agates. They are so gorgeous. I mean, tell me these don't look like Ocean Jasper, what? These are beautiful moss agates. Look how gorgeous the color, especially this one. So beautiful. And these are all moss agate. You can tell that some they have the moss agate more towards the bottom here. A lot more of the moss agate here. This one almost looks like a galaxy piece with all the colors it has. So, so stunning. So I was so lucky to find these. I did have moss agate in my shop before, but it was mainly green or just like a mix of white and green, maybe some blue. But to have this type of, you know, color pattern, I've never had these before in my shop. And I just think they are so stunning. So I got a lot more in of these. And I am a sucker for like these pastel colored ones. Oh, forget it. Obsessed. Absolutely love them. Here is one more as well. Again, just like a mix of different beautiful colors. All have a little bit of like pink, hints of blue in them. They are just honestly so freaking gorgeous. If this would focus, there we go. Oh, so beautiful. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is I was able to find some beautiful pink and pastel ocean jaspers. Now you guys know ocean jasper. For some reason, it is getting a little bit harder to find, but it's definitely really rare to find pink pastel colors. Those are super, super hard to find. Usually you will find a lot of like blue, green, brown, yellow tones, but to get like pinks or pastels are more on the rare side. But you guys, I got the hookup and look how beautiful these are. Oh, the color doesn't even do it justice on video. They are so stunning. This one has to be my favorite because you have that kind of like lilac, purple, pink, and then this beautiful mauve pink color. I am obsessed, so freaking gorgeous. I am so happy I was able to get these in. And here is just a bigger, like almost all lilac and pastel one with a little bit of the yellow and green inclusions right here. But how gorgeous, and this one as well. 
Again, just really, really stunning, breathtaking colors. It is really hard and rare to find these kind of nicer, lighter colors in Ocean Jaspers. And you guys, I have some like bigger obelisks coming that I cannot wait to show you, but I did get some smaller ones as well because I absolutely just love like the color and the variation. It's just, I mean, you guys look at that color. Again, it is more rare to get these type of colors. So you guys, when I found, <laughs> when my supplier was like, hey, I got some Ocean Jasper, I was like, let me see. The second they have Ocean Jasper, I jump on it because just, I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but Ocean Jasper is also one of my favorites, especially those beautiful like pink and pastel colors. They call to me so much. So I just, I really can't help myself when I see them. So let's see. Yes, okay. I think I did cover everything. It's weird because it felt kind of fast. I guess I went really slow in like my last couple hauls. So I just kind of had to get used to doing a seller's haul again for you guys. And I don't want to mumble too much because I don't want to make these videos too long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys all had a great New Year's. Again, we are in 20. 21 let's start new let's start fresh i'm just i'm so happy 2020 is in the past you guys don't even understand but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you like the seller's haul again i just was mindful i wanted to put things out that are more on the affordable side i didn't want to do too ex like too many expensive crystals you know right at the start of 2021 i know a lot of people are like still trying to get money in after all those christmas shopping and presents so thank you guys so much as usual if you have any recommendations please leave them down in the comment section down below until next time bye guys